Good evening. Happy Monday night. Uh, honestly, I finished this task early in the morning, but I totally forgot about videotaping this. Uh, and plus, I got you from LA. You got to have some in and out. Plus, they sponsoring this. I'm just kidding. I just like in and out. I haven't had dinner, so. So that's what I'm eating right now. We're gonna make this short and simple. Honestly, this weekend was really um really busy for me for just um I had two ta four tasks, five tasks, one got canceled, two for the same client back to back to back Saturday and Sunday, and today's Monday. So Friday, cancel. We're gonna start with the cancellation, like always. It was a returning client, um, Ashley from Santa Monica. Honestly, there's a lot of Ashley, so she probably doesn't know which one it is. I had in Santa Monica, you know, I know there's a lot of Ashleys out there. I guess she needed some like deliveries. Or deliveries, I mean, she needed a, a furniture delivery, and I told her my price, but I guess she, she didn't like it. Um, other than that. We didn't have nothing on Friday. Then Saturday, funny story is that um, she hired me because I usually come with a helper. And uh, that's why the, the prices are high. And my cousin told me that he got hired for the same, same person, by the same client, but got canceled, I guess, a couple of seconds later. Because she must have found me and saw that I had an uh, extra helper. So, um, I beat my cousin. But, um, he charges less, but he comes by himself. Obviously, I charge a lot because I have my cousin with me, my other cousin. Um, but this one was funny because my sister's boyfriend came, Tony. And my other cousin was at the beach. You know, he was cruising on a bike. So therefore, I couldn't take him. So Tony came with me. Um, it's in Rosemary. I think it's like almost East LA. Honestly, uh, it was like a couple stuff. Um, they both work remote, so that was kind of cool. Um, it's a three-story apartment, garage, living room, and the rooms upstairs. And we just got rid of, I think, two shelves in the garage, some couple of boxes. A painting a bunch of boxes I guess whatever is important to them um, a beanbag the beanbag came second though uh, and some um, a portrait or a painting honestly we like two trips I think two no we did three trips honestly three trips first first storage and obviously the the client came with us because seek opened the storages uh, it would have been a little bit faster if he gave me the storage key, but you know, it's the first time we met. So, you know, we kind of filling each other out. Other than that, um, it was pretty, um, pretty simple, you know, just to move from house to storage. I guess they bought a new house, so congratulations to them. Um, and other than that, uh, he had a hydraulic bed, but... I um, mean, it was Saturday, so the um, must be the fight was on, so we had to do it quick. And I told him I could come back the um, I say the next day. I I I told them the next day, but they wanted a, they hired me for tom that following day, which was tomorrow, which was Sunday. I mean, like during the week. When I say next day, I don't mean the following day. You know, I mean the like maybe next week or during the week like a thursday or friday but i guess they needed um, to hurry up and move because i guess they must have sold not to sold the place but um they were just trying to leave already other than that we had uh i guess my my sister's boyfriend tony couldn't come so i had to bring my cousin edson 
and we had to do the hydraulic bed um the obviously the mattress that comes with it and the daughter's mattress a couple office chairs and sitting chairs and then he has a patio too for the patio was like three chairs and a desk two coffee tables you know about a bunch of like we were just taking like most of the stuff that's really big but this is the funny one um at the end we we're about to finish he told us if we could move this aquarium right for turtles you know and i moved an aquarium but just uh, the glass the glass box never the whole thing usually because it's just the glass box that comes with it the base and the box but it was this one was different because they had like the lightning for the turtles i, I guess they're, um they're probably a different breed and then the whole filtration system on the bottom everything was like metal and i guess we, when we're moving him on sunday he was dumping the water it's, water smell like like you know like you're at the like an ocean breeze but like nastier it had a, like a bad stench obviously it's in the stench uh was stuck in my truck in the bed so I, tomorrow i gotta clean it um that was sunday so it's been there for like two days so i haven't time to uh, have had time to clean it up plus my furniture blankets i threw them away um a shirt I threw them away honestly it was pretty heavy but I've done some heavy stuff but this time I needed the client to help me because with two of us we could have done it but we kind of like injure ourselves or break the item uh, so he dumped the water out right which is much easier and as soon as he dumped the water took out the turtles at first it was an inside the garage and we were gonna put it on the on the lip of uh, the not not the lip of the truck but the trunk, so the truck does all the weight. But it was not gonna. The ceilings were too low. Plus there was like a lip or like something hanging from the roof. So I brought one of the orange dollies, lift it and then kind of balance it, and then rolled it out out of the garage and then we lift it. We threw some of the water, some of the little bit of water it has in there. And I told the client to grab the left side. My cousin grabs the right side, and I grab the the middle where like where all the weights at, and all three of us kind of like lift it at the same time. And trying to lift it on top of the bed. And so oh, it's just somebody walking. And uh, after that, uh, we lift it on three. And then the truck took all the bare weight and then some of the water fell right when it fell on the blankets. All It was like, it had blankets just in case, um, cause of the, the box is glass, so I didn't want it to break. And after that, the bed took it and then we just pushed it in. Honestly, it was actually easy. I mean, it did have a lot of weight. It did have weight, but it was kind of simple um with like three people it's doable and then we took it we i tied it down took it to the storage which was like five minutes from that from the place and then the harpo was bringing it down so not even it was not even that hard but just bringing it down was going to be difficult because the um, his story the other storage that he got was on a on a little hill so it made it just a little bit difficult, but not not too bad. And then uh, when I was pushing it out of the truck, the the aquarium came out, the glass box came out, and then he was like, "Oh, um, I didn't know it, were, it could be removed. I guess it's been there for years. That it must have like got stuck to the the metal. And I guess when we pushed it down, it must have like broken the seal." And then we took the box, man, when we took out the glass box, it was way simple. Other than we just got a little bit dirty. Uh, we put it down and we put in one of the, my stainless steel um, dolly, which is one of the most expensive 
item that I have for moving. And we put it on there. We rolled it and then it kind of like started like, it just fell though. Without the box, obviously. It just fell and it started scraping the, the bottom of the, um, of the hallway and then we realized that the wheel came out and those are um those are welded in there's like no screws so it really like completely broke the the welds uh not welds but it just broke it off and then i gotta weld it back and i was like dang i never i mean i never seen one oh it didn't break it just it kind of like separated even though it's welded and so I just gotta weld it back. And then obviously we put inside the um the storage. The storage that he got was kind of weird that they 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 sold them to him. Like it's like the whole storage. Cause the first storage on Saturday was just a simple just one door and that's it. This one had three doors. So therefore he had to get three three locks. Pretty weird. Um uh, and that's the first thing I seen. Um yeah, so we put it in there. We put all the stuff that he had earlier and organized it for him. And then we had to do it quick because it closed at, um, at 6.30. We were there like at five, so we had plenty of time. And then we and then we put the, the aquarium box, the glass box, back in its original place. Um, it was a little bit difficult, but not too hard. Other than that, um, it was pretty much pretty simple. No, nothing um nothing broke nothing i told the client next time um it's something heavy let me know because in case uh i need another helper because i i moved one of those before but you know it's just i don't like surprises like that especially when it's something heavy like super heavy but i mean we did it so but i told him next time just give me a heads up Besides that, um, that was it, you know, um, it was just the back, back to back by the same client, but in different days and then different times. And then today's test was for the, um, for the famous person, uh, it's not a boutique, but, uh, I, always, I don't know why I would keep saying boutique, but it's a clothing company for women. Uh, she's, um, sponsored by this famous person. Other than that, uh, that test was kind of weird. Um, it was not weird, like, it was just, like, pointless. So, she wanted us there at 8 in the morning. So, I had to wake up early. I'm kind of sleeping today because I had to wake up early. I'm not used to waking up at 7 or 6 in the morning for a task. And, uh, we, I took my cousin because I didn't want to, usually in the morning, I don't kind of, I'm kind of slow. Uh, especially, uh, it was pretty busy today. It's Monday. Obviously, traffic is bad. Going over there was super, uh, the traffic, the four or five was traffic. So I went on the street and the same thing. It was more traffic. Uh, I actually took long to get there to do the task, honestly, because the task was only like, it said one to two hours, but we knocked it off in 45 minutes. Uh, it was putting like these, um, books back to its original place um these um clothing books like Prada Gucci like where they get ideas from and she gave us pictures and so we had to just kind of like mimic the same thing on the picture and uh yeah we did it it was pretty quick honestly um most of most of the books already were in place um but I guess she just kind of got lazy or just didn't feel like finishing the last part and so she only had she had like 75 percent already so most of them was just look at the picture, see where the book's at, and then just put it in the same place. Honestly, we actually did it to the teeth to um make it to that to look the same as she had it before. I guess when um the bug happened, she must have like put the books and then put them in the shelf or put them back to the storage of the company, which I know where is it at too, because I used to do their storages too. And yeah, so we put that back. Um, we had to put on the Calax and the desk. It was we had to be there early because I guess most of the people come late. That's why she wanted us early. Um, we finished it. Um, 
we did it in 45 minutes uh after that i took pictures and it shows her i she hasn't responded since uh and after that we told the guy hey look we're done and he checked off and other than that he was like all right cool um it was cool and then we just we just left and then after that uh that was it you know let's see what happens um this week prices are super high so i could study more hopefully you know um I don't get booked a lot, but usually I do, especially at the end of this month. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, the truck's looking pretty good. I'll probably have to do a video about that. And, um, yeah, happy tasking and stay safe. And I got to finish my rest of my, my dinner.